Hi everyone, welcome back to the question and answer discussion session. So today's question is, therapeutic drug monitoring is done for A choice penicillin, B choice phenytoin, C choice lignocaine, D choice erythromycin and E choice all of the above. So before coming to the correct answer, let's understand what is therapeutic drug monitoring or TDM. So it is nothing but measuring the concentration, measuring the drug concentration measuring the drug concentration in plasma now why we need to measure the drug concentration in plasma basically done to done to adjust the dose of that particular to adjust the dose of a drug to adjust the dose of a drug now to adjust the dose of a drug you need to measure the drug concentration in plasma that phenomenon is called as or that process is called as therapeutic drug monitoring or TDM now comes the question why you need to do a TDM why therapeutic drug monitoring need to be done so in certain disease condition so in the case of certain disease the response cannot be the response to a particular drug response to a particular drug cannot be measured immediately response cannot be measured response to that particular drug cannot be measured so in that that case you cannot adjust the dose of a drug based on the response because it cannot be uh, the, because the response cannot be measured response cannot be measured in such cases you need to do a tdm one example is in the case of epilepsy epilepsy you cannot adjust the dose uh, of a, that particular drug based on the response and in that case you, you need to do a tdm in the second case why you need to do a tdm second case certain in the case of certain drugs in the case of certain drugs with low therapeutic index in the case of certain drug with the low therapeutic index abbreviated as ti if the therapeutic index is low uh, you need to do a tdm ideally a tdm could be done actually now what is this therapeutic index or ti so basically it's the it's a uh, it's an indicator to measure the safety of a drug it indicate measure the safety of a particular drug it is an indicator to the safety of a drug how much a drug is safe if the therapeutic index is higher if the therapeutic index is high if the therapeutic index is high the drug is very safe the drug is safe whereas if the therapeutic index is low if the therapeutic index is low the drug is not safe it is unsafe it's not a safe drug so that is the that's the meaning of uh, therapeutic index it measure the safety of a drug now which are which are the drugs having low therapeutic index because if the drug is having a low therapeutic index you can you need to do a tdm okay now coming to the examples of drugs with low therapeutic index drugs with low therapeutic index you can remember this mnemonics the vip gentleman the vip gentleman bought car on the vip gentleman bought car on diwali the vip gentleman bought car on diwali the stands for theophylin so theophylin is a drug with low therapeutic index theophylin in vip v stands for valproic acid valproic acid which is an anti epileptic drug where the therapeutic index is low i stands for immunosuppressants immunosuppressant drugs some of the examples are cyclosporin is having low therapeutic index tacrolimus is having low therapeutic index sirolimus is an immunosuppressant having low therapeutic index now in vip p stands for phenytoin p stands for phenytoin in, in the case of gentle gentleman gen stands for gentamicin gentamicin it is an aminoglycoside antibiotic aminoglycoside antibiotic where the therapeutic index is low then uh, car car means carbamazepine 
carbamazepine it is also carbamazepine is an anti epileptic drug the therapeutic index is low now in diwali di stands for digoxin wa stands for warfarin it's an anti coagulant drug having low therapeutic index in diwali li stands for lithium it is a drug used or the drug of choice for the mania or bipolar uh, disorder bpd the lithium is also having a low therapeutic index so these are the some of the drugs which is having low therapeutic index so theophylline requires is a drug with low therapeutic index it, it uh, tdm need to be done valproic acid therapeutic drug tdm has to be done in all these immunosuppressants you need to do a tdm in the case of phenytoin you need to do a tdm in the case of gentamicin tdm is required in the case of carbamazepine tdm is required in the case of digoxin tdm is required in the case of lithium tdm is required however in the case of warfarin tdm is not necessary in the case of warfarin although warfarin is coming under the low therapeutic index drug in the uh, in the case of warfarin tdm is not necessary because you can measure the prothrombin type you can measure the prothrombin time that is the inr ratio you can measure inr ratio inr you can measure and therefore you no need to measure the drug concentration in the plasma so although warfarin comes under the low therapeutic index drug you therapeutic drug monitoring is not necessary whereas in the case of lithium digoxin carbamazepine gentamicin phenytoin immunosuppressants theophylline valproic acid in all these cases uh, tdm is required now coming to the question therapeutic drug monitoring is done for so the correct answer would be b choice phenytoin so hope you understood understood this question thanks for watching keep on watching thank you so much